Hello everyone, hope everyone is fine. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to design your project using CRISPR Cas9 gene editing technology. Prior to going for the designing of your project, one must have some knowledge about the CRISPR Cas9 gene editing technology. And for this purpose, I would like to refer to Jennifer Doudna's and Feng Chung and other people lectures available on YouTube and other sources. I'm also planning to record some videos. But the very important thing which is not available is how to design your project. So Talk about it. The most important thing is what to be started with and from where to be started with. These are very simple but very important questions. The most important thing and the primary thing is you must know about the gene of your interest which gene you want to play with what will be the aspects of the gene what you want to know about the gene what people have discovered about the gene and what still to be discovered this is very important you might know about all these aspects how and where you need to find your gene of interest you can find the gene of your interest by reading literature talking with your fellows discussing with your mentor and reading some articles this is very important that where you want to play with this gene. Either you want to play with this gene universally, that means you want to play with this gene in whole body, or you want to play with this gene conditionally, that means you want to target a specific tissue organ for example you want to play with a certain gene in lungs heart or brain after knowing all these things the next important thing is how do you want to play with this gene that mean you want to make knockout delete this gene from that part or that organism you want to knock in that gene that means you want to over express that gene or you want to knock down that gene down regulate that gene expression or you want to make a single base change and either you want to make some insertions so these are few facts before going towards your project and these are very simple things but still very important for gene of interest you can read many papers available but the most important thing about that gene should be you might know what people already have done based on their gene if many people made knockout of their gene so in that case you can move towards knockout of their gene conditionally you can target some specific tissue 
for example lungs heart brain or some other organs other tissues based on the predictions of the other people the next thing is if you want to make a single base change you need to know more about your gene or you want to make some changes some insertions so these things are the primary information about designing your project next you came to know about the gene of your interest so the next question is where you can find the sequence of that gene so here i will talk about bex2 brain expressed x link 2 gene as an example and you want to knock out this gene universally from whole body so let's talk about it i will try to cover every aspect in coming videos like knock ins knockdowns conditionally knockouts single base changes and insertions also but here we we are going to talk about the sequence of pex2 that where and how we can find the sequence of the gene of our interest so there are many resources available from where we can find the sequences of the gene but ncbi is the primary source of most of the bioinformatics tools for all the biologists so i will refer to the ncbi there are some other sources like ensemble and ucsf uh, but i like ncbi and i will also use ensemble uh, in this videos upcoming videos as this is a part of like series so we will go through all these ncbi and ensemble databases find the sequence of your gene from ncbi look for the start codon we want to knock out this gene universally so we need to target our start the start codon of our gene of interest so that we can knock out that gene in a proper way also we need to tally our sequence and the the position of our start codon with ensemble based on this sequence and position of our start codon now we need to design sgRNA this sgRNA is totally based on our design project so our design project is what we want to do we want to universally knock out this gene so we will use bench link as sgRNA designing tool there are other some databases that can be used for design of sgRNA like Centigo but personally I like bench link because of many aspects and I will make some parison videos based on Benchling, Centigo, and some other databases that can be used for designing of sgRNA.
After you have designed your sgRNA from penciling, now you need to authenticate your sgRNAs using NCBI plus tool. Why you need to do this? Because you want to avoid off targets. So that's why authentication of your sgRNA is very important. So now in next video part 2, uh, I will show you how you can find the sequence of your gene of interest. I will use NCBI and I will tell you that sequence with ensemble and next we will design sgRNA using penciling. So keep watching.